Alrighty, peoples. So I have been on the grind for a while now for this new artifact set called Nighttime Whispers. This is the new Geo set that came out along with Navia. And I do believe it is pretty good on Navia, but I'm not sure how entirely true that is because I do not have Navia. So I decided to still grind out this, uh, this artifact set for the one Geo character I have currently built, Zhongli. I want to see if it will give him a a good decent boost in damage this is the hybrid build i guess i guess you could say 30k hp not much attack to be honest but that's okay 59 crit rate and 149 crit damage I now right now he is but currently sitting at 75.4 percent geo damage bonus he is using black lift pull and here are the artifact stats. They're not the best, I won't lie. They're kind of ass, especially this piece. This piece would be pretty bad on other Geo characters, but since it has HP and stuff in it, um, it's actually pretty decent for Zhongli here. The Feather, it's mediocre. The Sands, pretty me mediocre. This is the Cup. We're using a Archaic Petra off-piece Geo damage bonus. And the Circlet. Pretty bad. Not the best artifacts, but it is what it is. Here are the talents, just in case you want to see them. Now, how exactly this artifact uh, set works is that two-piece bonus, 18% attack, pretty alright. I don't know why it isn't Geo, to be honest. Four-piece bonus is after using an elemental skill, you gain a 20% Geo damage bonus for 10 seconds. While under a shield granted by Crystallize Reaction, the above effect will be increased by 150%, and this additional increase disappears one second after the shield is lost. Now, that does sound pretty crazy, but I did test, I'll go ahead and say it, I did test a little bit already. It is kind of tedious, because on some enemies, it's hard to generate that reaction, and that shield isn't very strong, to be honest. So, let's go ahead and show you in practice. We're gonna go fight right in Shogun. All right, here we go. We're I'm gonna go ahead and eat crit food real quick. Okay. So here how I'm gonna do this. We got we're gonna do that. Do that. This should create a crystallize. Yep, just like that. And now we are at we are now at 125% geo damage bonus. So yeah. Let us see how much damage we do. This is order. A hundred and what? Seventeen or is that a hundred and eleven? I don't know, but it was pretty meaty. That was pretty meaty. Pretty juicy damage there. So it is pretty good for one hundred and forty-nine crit damage. That was some pretty nice damage. But the thing is, in practice, this set seems pretty tedious. I'll admit, I don't think it's. It's obviously not really meant to be on Zhongli, uh, especially if most of you are just putting a straight HP build. You're not really going to need this. I mean, maybe if you want to boost up his damage, but for hybrid build, I don't know if this is good either. Now, the build I used previously consisted of, of this, this, I think this and this now this is the hybrid build i used to use two piece noblesse and two piece archaic petra that obviously is you know giving us more geo damage bonus there and more burst damage now that together might hit around the same damage as the uh artifacts that we were just using the nighttime set i'm gonna have to switch to a crit so or sword pull arm now we got 75 crit rate and Osmanthus one won. god damn osmanthus uh 191 crit damage it's a lot of crit damage and we are still under the effects of the crit rate food which is you know fine so with these sets as well we got 90 90 geo damage bonus without doing a thing actually i don't even know if that's accurate i wonder if it's bugging out still 
Nope, still says 90. Uh, so yeah. Now, I'm gonna try real quick to lower the crit damage to make it a little bit more fair to the other set. Now, we have a shit ton of more crit rate. That's fine. And we have 153 crit damage. Now, that's like four more than the other set. So, that should be fine. Now, let's go back in and see if this can hit similar damage. Also, we are around the same HP as well. 29k. Forgot to mention that. Anyway, let's go. Alright, here we go. And now we don't have to worry about crystallize or anything because yeah let's see how much damage we hit a hundred and eleven thousand pretty much exactly the same as the nighttime set okay for this kind of build on Zhongli for more meatball damage Two-piece Noblesse and two-piece Archaic Petra is is probably the best way to go because it's simple. You don't have to worry about grabbing Crystallize, doing all this extra shit. Now, one thing that is interesting is that this the set kind of is like Archaic Petra, at least the full set. Uh, because for Archaic Petra, when you obtain a Crystallize reaction, all party members gain a 35% damage bonus for that element that's been crystallized. Which may seem good on paper, but in practice it's very inconsistent because you don't know what you're doing. You don't know which element you're crystallizing half the time. It just happens, right? Now the only problem is I don't think there's a way to actually get a geo crystallization. I could be wrong, alright? And don't blame me for not knowing because no one pays attention to crystallize. Alright, let's just be real here. What I'm trying to say is that Archaic Petra full set is also pretty tedious. So it really is just better to go for the simple route. But one thing is interesting is how much exactly, how much geo damage can we get? So what's going to happen here, All right? Just for funsies, we're putting the whole set back on. We're going to go ahead, switch one of these party members to a geo character. Ideally... Honestly, ideally, it should be Ning Wang so that she can give us 12% more geo damage from her skill. But I don't have her leveled up enough. Yeah, she's level 40. I don't have her leveled up enough to do that. So we're just going to put Yunjin. And with the elemental resonance, uh, geo resistance is decreased by 20%. So we're going to be doing a lot more geo damage. And damage dealt increased by 15%. Very good. As long as we're protected by a shield, of course. That doesn't exactly give us more geo damage bonus here, but we'll be doing more damage. So that'll be nice. Now, let's go over to this, this, uh, domain. What's so special about this domain? More geo damage bonus, baby. So let's go in. All right, geo damage increased by 75%. Now we should have 150. As now using a skill, 170. Was... All right, seems about right. Uh, I am gonna do this real quick, just so we get correct. Gonna go ahead and start it. Now this should be pretty easy to generate crystallized reactions on because they have shields up. So what's gonna happen? We're just gonna get our bursts up. All right, now we should 200%, was, man. okay? Um, boom! 104k. Not as much as I thought. Now, that could have dropped us, honestly, Osmanthus to 150. Why do you always Osmanthus wine, bro? Okay. <laughs> it probably kind of got screwed over because, uh, like I said earlier, the crystallized shields don't last very long. So, that's probably what happened. And we lost the shield and it disappeared immediately after one second. Alright, so let's try this again. We'll try it on this guy. Get our bursts up. Alright, here we go. We're under crystallize. Which, again, should be 200k. Or 200k. I mean 200. 133,000. Let's go. Alright, that's pretty good stuff. At least I think. <laughs> So that's what 200% geo damage bonus looks like. Okay. Uh, wine tastes the same. Obviously, you you can't obtain that on normal means. Uh, I wish you could. That'd be freaking awesome. I mean, Zhang Li is the geo daddy, so he should be able to, at least allowed to. 
So overall, my opinions on this artifact set, uh, not really viable on Zhongli, of course. It's most likely better on characters who can use Geo a lot more often than he can. Like Ningguang, I would have to say, is probably, out of all the characters I have at least, excuse me, she can probably generate crystallized, uh, crystallized shards like no problem but yeah i'll probably be be uh be better on her just because she can use gl a lot i might have to build her to test that out but uh i think the set will be irrelevant by the time i do that <laughs> it probably is already irrelevant now on navia it's probably good most likely if it were me to be honest i'd i just stick to simplicity rather than having to go try and get all these all these crystallized things to be honest since she relies more on her elemental skill i do basically my other set but instead of noblesse it would be uh golden troop for the elemental skill damage bonus which would be pretty good so two piece golden troop and then two piece archaic petra would probably do fine on navia and you wouldn't really have to worry about anything else but yeah the set's pretty all right not the best thing in the world it's just crystallized reactions are ass. Anyway, uh, I think that's it for me. I just want to do a quick video on that because I was farming for that set quite a, quite a lot. <laughs> and I wanted to uh, make it worthwhile and make a video on it. And maybe other people would find it interesting. So, if you did, I hope you enjoyed. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.